Hi everyone, I'm Tiffany. I would like to share the Lewin's three-step model today with you. It is also called the Unfreeze, Change, Refreeze model. It is a model to manage change in a company. The three steps, Unfreeze, Change, and Refreeze actually comes from the idea of an ice cube that has to be transformed into a new shape. The ice has to be melted, unfreeze it, pour it into a new container, change it, and frozen it again into a new shape, refreeze it. To make a change, we have to know what is needed to change and why a change is needed, or else we may not be motivated to do so. During the team meet meeting in my internship, my supervisor once announced that there will be a change in the work task. Originally, there are three teams responsible for different business reviews and triggers. Yet, my supervisor would like to combine all the business reviews and fairly distribute them among the teams. Some of my colleagues were very confused, as they are not sure why they have to do it, and they are more comfortable with the original work arrangement. The model mentioned that it is important to manage and understand the doubts and concerns of different employees. It is very common that everyone may be reluctant to change at first. Therefore, my supervisor had explained the reason behind for his change. He wants all my teammates to learn and work on different triggers and try to build bondings among the team. For example, he wants team A to teach team B on working their reviews and vice versa. This could increase the team morale. After listening to the supervisor and addressing our concerns, most of the people agreed with his viewpoints and willing to change. Then, it comes to the second step, change. In this step, people have to act in new ways and learn new things. It's time, it takes time for people to adapt to new changes. It is very important to communicate more often so as to know everyone's progress and provide support to employees who need help. For the change in my internship, my supervisor has set a longer timeline so that allow my teammates to adapt to the new working style gradually. He has also asked for feedbacks from different team heads proactively so as to check and see if any amendments to the change is needed. He is always open to new ideas and address the concerns openly and honestly. That helps to build trust between the team and encourage the changes. The last step is refreeze. When changes are gradually okay and people have adapted to new ways of working, the company is ready for a refreeze. In this stage, it is very important to make sure that the changes are used all the time and they are incorporated into the everyday business. Management teams could develop different strategies to sustain the change. For example, create a reward system to motivate people for a change, establishing a feedback system for continuous improvement, or ensure the leaders are always in place to support. Even though the changes in my company may not come to the refree stage yet, I'm sure that with continuous training and support, they will feel comfortable and confident with the new way of working. All in all, with these changes, three steps of changes, it is very easy for management teams to plan and implement the change. It could help them to know how to manage changes easily and effectively. Thank you.